No, no. Let it fall. Let it fall? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. What happens if I don't let it fall? It just makes a better sound. <laughs> Welcome to this, the first of our Ortho Hub Unbox videos, where we take a kit, a surgical kit, and an expert, and we pull it all out and see how it works. So today I've got the Nick Hayden, uh, spine surgeon at RNOH Stanmore, and we're talking about the Viper Prime Minimally Invasive Pedicle Screw Insertion Kit. Nick, why have you picked this for us today? There's two take-home messages for this uh, pedicle screw system that set it apart from everything else. The first you can already see, it comes in one tray. And it's that which is truly unique. And the theater staff love you for it because we've not got the multiple trays that spine surgeons are oh so used to. The second thing, and this is the real appeal to the surgeons, is here's the screwdriver and the pedicle screw, but take a look at the tip. So I'm seeing the pedicle screws in green. I'm seeing a silver little spiky bit coming out the end. You are, and it's that spiky bit that makes it different because that's the integral stilet. It's a jam sheedy inside oh. the pedicle screw. So instead of having your little jam sheedy, which you tap, tap, tap into the bone, you've got this in, in set into the system. There'll be a bit of tap, tap, tapping, and we'll show that in a minute, Pete. But what this allows us to do is not be going with a jam sheedy and then a wire and then the jam sheedy out and then the screw over the wire. It's all in one, it saves seven steps. Seven steps. It's unique. So let's start pulling out this system. So Nick, how do we get from this to this, a mounted up pedicle screw? How do we do that? This isn't the bit you normally do, right? It, it is, but, but, but let, let me show you. Let's the see the great goes. thing is, in here we've got... And a friendly instruction. But what we need to do is create the screwdriver, and it's four pieces. And this always shows everybody because this is a reverse screw, a reverse thread. And then the final bit just lines up and clicks in there. This tool is extremely useful. It's the locking nut applicator, it's the final tightener. And it's, a, it's a universal screwdriver, <laughs> isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So there's our screwdriver, um, missing the screw. Um, here is the screw that we're going to attach to it. And the features of the screw that are probably worth pointing out at, at this stage um, to everybody watching is extended tabs with threads inside which allow us to reduce with ease and, and a huge amount of strength. Some features of the screw itself, it has two different uh, thread sizes, which reduces the likelihood of pullouts or increases pullout strength. So it's got a widely pitched thread yeah. for the into the cancellous part inside the trabecular, inside the body, and it's got uh, dense threads for the pedicle. I exactly. And you can probably also see it has two small holes, there's four in total, but you can yep. see two so of them. Fenestrations. Fenestrations, so you can inject cement and yep. increase the strength further. And then right at the tip, the thing that allows this screw to do everything it does in fewer steps, um, it's effectively sharp. And what okay. that means is it doesn't need screwing to start with, or it doesn't need a, a pathway creating for it. And self cutting, it doesn't need self tapping. Exactly. Great. So we need to apply the screwdriver to the screw, and the screw size will be um, decided preoperatively on the basis of the preoperative imaging, and then this just screws down like so. So there we are, but there's something missing. The spiky bit. Exactly. Bow, 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 bow. The spiky bit that makes it different. This is the spiky bit, and here is the, the holder for the spiky bit, and you'll be able to see there on the holder that there's a series of numbers. Yep. And those numbers correlate to the screw. So if we want to put in our 45 screw, always a 45 screw. Is it always a 45 screw? Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> most spine surgeons will be saying it's always a 45 screw. Um, that just drops into the slot and then rotates to lock it in place. And now we need to deliver the stilet into the screwdriver. Drops in, guess which is our favorite tool. And as we screw this in, you'll see the stilet start to appear at the bottom of the, of the screw. And what you've got there is just three millimeters of stilet, which is effectively at this stage, and I'll show you on the model in a moment, this is our starter all. So it's the thing that's gonna break the cortical surface, the thing that's gonna mean we don't slip off. And there's the handle, and we're ready to go. Brilliant. So a mounted up pedicle screw with a spiky bit down the middle, which is gonna give us our sharp start, and we're gonna go tap, and that gets, kick, gets us kicked off. We are indeed. Brilliant. Next stage, let's stick them in. Bow, 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 bow. Hang on, Pete. 
you can't wait to get to the tap tap stage, can you? We're not, okay. we're not quite there yet. <laughs> Let, let's move the screws to one side. Okay. There's screws, there's rods, and there's locking nuts. Okay. So what about the, ro those what, what about the rod holder? Um, that also comes from the same tray. Um, and it has the three components, the main handle, um, this little gold bit that slides in, and this bit of candy that must have that's more than brilliant. Um, um, not, not that many of them want to do it. And this then screws down into place, yep, and we don't screw it all the way, because what that actually allows us to do is take our rod, which will measure at the time of the surgery, and lock that onto the rod holder. Now we've got a rigid construct which allows us to deliver this through your extended tabs. The extended tabs. Great. And the higher up it is, the more reduction we'll get by putting our locking nuts into place. Understood. The locking nut, you won't be surprised to hear, it's this tool we use. Yeah. Now we're good to go. Great, at last, we can put it in a spine. So Nick, we're going to show how to put these screws in under fluoroscopy first, and then we'll move to navigation after. We've got our AP and lateral radiographs, we've got a spine in front of us with a patient in, uh, over the top of it. Uh, how do we put in the screw? What I tend to do is start with um, a AP image to check that the wire is across the midpoint of the relevant pedicle, and then mark that on so the So draw patient. a line across the patient. Absolutely. Then we turn it so that the wire runs craniocaudal, and again, take an AP image, and what I'm looking for is to be, as you can see on the X-ray, on the lateral edge of the pedicle that I'm targeting. Great. That gives you a marked cross yeah. on the patient, and we want to be about a centimetre out from that. It depends hugely on the patient. Along the horizontal line? Along and lateral to the horizontal line. It depends hugely on the patient's body habitus. Bigger patient, further out. And once we've made a skin incision at that point, we can either use the uh, dilator and working channel, which we place down onto the entry point. It has a radio opaque uh, marker, so we can check where we are. And then we can remove the inner, and we've got a working channel to work down. Honestly, most of us don't do that, because it's just as easy to make our incision, pop a finger down onto the entry point or some other instrument, and then to go straight for the screw. Yep. So we'll pop it down our incision onto our entry point, and at the moment, it's just sat on the bone. So what we need to do at this point is just to gently tap that. Whack. Into place. Tap, not whack. Gently <laughs> into place until it's through the cortex. Once it's through the cortex, we've effectively got a starter rule, cortex broken, screw ready to go. But more importantly, it's time to push the stilette, like a jam sheedy, from the lateral edge of the pedicle, through the pedicle, moving towards the medial border, and into the vertebral body. And the way we do that is by remembering that this is attached to the screw and this is attached to the wire. As we rotate the red uh, drum, the stilette is advancing. And you can hopefully see that the numbers are going up, or more to the point, the red marker is moving down, showing us exactly how much stilette is showing. And the stilette is slowly pushing out the bottom of the pedicle screw. Exactly. So this is still sitting on the edge of the, of the pedicle, and this is going down the pedicle. Exactly. Right, we then hold the red drum still and move the screw over the stilette. So the stilette is effectively staying, staying in place still, until we're back to it. the three millimetres. Great. Back to our start point. So we're now turning. Each click is a millimetre. So the wire is progressing through the pedicle. And I can see now that I'm at around 10 millimetres. So I'd want an AP and lateral to confirm where I am. OK. Exactly the same principles as a jam sheedy at this stage. So I now continue up to the 25 millimetres. So we've now got a wire, the screw hasn't moved, and the wire, as we can see on the X-ray, is sat in the right position for the screw to follow it. Great. OK. What now? Hold the wire and advance the screw. And remember, because we don't need to screw or to tap, the screw will simply follow the course of the wire. And as long as I'm holding onto this, yep. we'll see on the AP and lateral fluoro that the wire doesn't move and the screw simply progresses. So we're 25 millimetres into the pedicle. Now we need to just drive the rest of the screw into place, which we can see <coughs> best on the lateral fluoro. And at that stage, with the screw in place and the lateral furrow confirming the screw is in a good position, we can simply undo and remove the screwdriver.
So Nick, we've got a pedicle screw in an L4. Tell us how the navigation works. Yeah, I hate radiation, and navigation's a huge step from the surgeon's point of view away yeah, of from course needing, needing yeah. that. Um, the great thing about this uh, system is it comes integral with the Brain Lab navigation system, um, which means that we, we end up with a screwdriver that looks pretty much the same as the previous one, but with an obvious addition, which is the reference array. And essentially what we're going to do is use a reference array on the patient, the navigation system, and our screwdriver with a reference array so that we know at all points where the tip of our screw is on the holy grail of navigation, the axial. The only other difference worth pointing out is you can see there's just five millimeters of um, stilette showing here. Okay, so there's a bit poking out. There is, or should I say the maximum we can have is five millimeters. Right, Not but the, you can't, you can't advance it. I can't advance one. that anymore. And think about why. We don't need a jam sheedy. Once we've broken the cortex, we've got a screw that is self-drilling, self-tapping. So as long as we know where it is, off we go. Yeah. So I tend to pull this back to about three millimeters to start. We yeah. don't need AP and lateral fluoro. We've got either pre-operative imaging or far more lightly on table imaging with a reference array. And what we can then do is use pointer to check our trajectory. And we can yeah. see that on the axial, that will show us where we need to go to place our screw and therefore where our skin incision is. Now we place our screw through our skin incision down to the start point, which we can see on the, uh, the navigation system. And as long as the camera can see the three uh, points on the reference array, yep. we're good to go. And it's exactly the same as before. Do it's, I get to whack it? Uh, it's, it's tapping rather than whacking, but uh. if you really want to, Pete, yeah, you can. If you want <laughs> okay. to do that, that's so it. Tap, tap, tap. That gets us through the cortex. Exactly. And yes, you've almost achieved that, so that, that's good. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it is a whack. It, I maybe, knew it was a whack. Maybe it's a whack we need. <laughs> so I think, I think there's enough of the hammer, Pete. And it's probably best you leave the spine surgeon to this. So we are definitely through the cortex. We, yeah. we might be through more, but okay. I, I think we're through cortex. Yeah. We've advanced our stilette up to the five millimeter point. Won't go any yeah. further. We don't need any lateral or AP fluoro. We can see on our navigation where we are. And now, so long as the reference array can be seen by the camera, as we advance our screw, we can see on the axial exactly where it's going. It's the holy grail of navigation is that axial. That's what we want to see. We don't need to check anything else. We can see it happening live. And there it goes, right down onto plate position. And then we simply undo and away. And there we have it. So we've looked at the unique features, the USPs, if you will, of the Viper Prime uh, minimally invasive pedicle screw kit from J&J. &J. Nick, thanks very much. Great job. My pleasure.